exclusive finds, and all new favorites. We're even giving away a trip a day. So come join the fun all month long. It's our birthday, your party on HSN and HSN.com. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. Don't miss a thing with our HSN app, available on Apple and Android devices. Get $10 off your first in-app purchase with code WELCOME10. Opt in to push notifications for early access to exclusive app-only deals. Shop faster than ever with exclusive new product videos, only on the iPhone. Watch HSN Live anytime, anyplace. And the new shop and search features make finding your favorites easier than ever. Search app on hsn.com to download. kitchen we're gonna have fun uh, my name is guy I'll be here with you for another hour and this is HSN if you're shopping with us for the very first time welcome aboard we are celebrating another fantastic year here at HSN as we turn 41 years old it's hard to believe uh, and uh, you are invited to join this crazy party that we're having all month long we're gonna be bringing you very special offers. We got brand new items, we have exclusive finds, and we got power visits from some of your favorite brands that are gonna be uh, stopping by from time to time. And make sure you return every day to discover all the great birthday deals and all the great products that we have. As I said, if you're shopping with us for the first time, welcome aboard, we love having you here. Uh, I always love, and you know, we can't do this all the time, but I always love what I own. One of the products that I'm selling. Uh, I had the opportunity about three months ago to uh, show our, uh, our star friend, uh, Rock, cookware and I was so impressed with it I bought it I got a saute pan and I got this pan right here which right. is the five quart Dutch oven I am telling you some of the best cookware I've ever bought in my <laughs> life I have this and I have some Curtis Stone in my house that's what I cook yep. with and I love this first of all I love that it is industrial cookware the nonstick is the most amazing nonstick I've ever seen it in my is. life it is only $39.95 for this five quart Dutch oven that comes with a lid. You want to talk about an everything pan. Uh, we're going to go through all the features, but let me introduce you to my friend John Florell. And John, you, you got to admit, this stuff for guys like you and me, God. we love stuff that's indestructible. Yep. And, and this, this, you can't this, hurt yeah, it. Yeah, it comes with a 10-year warranty. Crazy. I mean, it'll never crack, chip, or peel for up to 10 years, all right? Metal utensil safe, okay, totally safe. Yeah. And it's all one pot, okay? That's what we, everybody loves about it. I'm taking a complete, a whole pound of spaghetti. I'm going to plop it down here in the water. You just put and, that okay, water in there, by the we way, We just too. put that water it's in there. It boiling. was a boiling hot <laughs> pan, okay? And, uh, and then I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. It cooks all in one. So I'm going to put some, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna put some onions in here. Okay. All right. We're gonna add uh, some andouille sausage. Okay. All right, we're gonna make a pasta. And by the dish. way, these these uh, ideas, uh, you can you can't make a mistake. Throw no. whatever you want you to put in there. You throw everything in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like uh, clear out the fridge if you have to. Yeah. <laughs> okay, some basil. How about some garlic, and, I mean, yep, yeah, throw the garlic in there, a little salt and pepper. We're gonna put some mushrooms in. And uh, here, the salt and pepper, best part. And again, remember, it's all going to boil. And last but not least, even the cheese. We're going to put the cheese in there too. Again, it's all in one pot. It's a nonstick pot that does it. Well, it's a Dutch oven. Basically, yeah. it's a Dutch oven. Yeah. You put the lid on top, and Let you're done. Okay. Now I'm going to move this up here. I've got a, a gas stove going. I'm going to crank that up. We're going to get that done. That's going to be done in about 10 Perfect. minutes. All okay. right. Now let me take these steaks off. And again. Non-stick. You can see the steer, sear. You can feel it. You can. I mean, you can almost taste it yeah, yeah, <laughs> in yeah. the air. But we're gonna take this out, okay? And again, completely non-stick. So. You don't have to worry about anything sticking to the pan. And I'm using metal utensils here, okay? Listen, I, I don't have to worry about the nonstick in here yeah. chipping or peeling. It's the special nonstick that makes it so unique. There's little look air divots this. underneath look at the, look the food. At the, look at how and, that's cooked, too. I mean, it cooks perfectly. Uh, it, it, and again, it doesn't matter whether you're searing steaks or frying eggs. Here, we'll deglaze this pan. And uh, I'll tell you, just... Uh, <laughs> It's so easy to use. It's like mistake-proof 
cooking. It yeah. really is. Yeah. And, uh, and again, I'm using metal utensils here. I don't have to worry about this ever cracking, chipping, peeling. Yeah. It's a, it's like a, a, it's almost like a lifetime pan. It's warranted dude, for dude, 10 I've, years. I've had, I've had mine for, for I, I don't know what is up, two months. Right. And I've used both pans. It <laughs> is, it blows me away. The yeah. non-stick uh, features of this. And it's really how the pan was made. The reason they call it the rock uh, cookware, and we'll yeah. show you. They actually use uh, a sanding, sort of a sandblasting yeah, technique. These metal beads hit the pan while it's still hot. It actually creates these divots, which are little air pockets that get underneath your food. This is not a coating, okay? It cannot peel off. Right. It's not a coating. It's how it's those little beads that create those divots that make it non-stick. Now I'm going to pour this. Right, right over, over your the top steaks. of the steaks yeah. up here. I, I don't I'll tell you what. Show them everybody the easy clean yeah, job. Yeah, easy to this clean. This is just crazy. I mean, this is one of the easiest pans to clean. In fact, here, I'm going to just take a damp cloth. Watch this. It wipes out perfectly. And again, you can go from one meal to the next to the next, yeah. but you can do an entire meal in here without without even have to changing without changing the pan. And the and the capacity of that we'll having that, that huge capacity is ideal for family yes. meals. Uh, we're going to show you that family meal in a sec. But I use this. You can do uh, you can you can bake in this. You yep. can do uh, uh, muffins inside here. You can do the cinnamon rolls. You can do all that stuff. You can do eggs and omelets. I, I use it. I, I use my pan. I use my saute every. Every day, right. I use this one about once a week. You can do upside down cakes. You, <laughs> it's got riveted handles. It's aluminum and stainless steel construction, so it's got. That's why we can give it that 10-year warranty. Uh, let me tell you really quickly. I have it in two colors. Now, let me show you what you get real quick, yep, John. Yep, you and bet. then we'll start. We'll show you over there. So here it is. This gives you an idea of the size of it. Um, it comes with a tempered glass lid. It has a little uh, release check valve here, so it allows the steam to come out because you know, you're gonna be putting this in the oven, and right. you're gonna be braising and things like that, so you want a little of the steam to come out. Inside, this is that finish that John was talking about. Here, got and it. you can Here. hear it, yeah. That's Nothing hurts port. it, okay. right? Yeah, <laughs> um, you got that uh, that beautiful coating on the outside. The pan itself is uh, is an aluminum pan with stainless. So the aluminum is great for heat conduction. The stainless is what makes this last a long time. You have riveted handles on here, and they rivet right through. All right, tempered glass lid goes on the top. This is oven safe, so you can use this in the oven for 450. It's not going to hurt the pan. Right. It's virtually indestructible. It is. That's all the good news. <laughs> Bad news is. I had 5,000, I'm down to 450. That oh, is wow. it, and these will sell out. Hey, um, Chris, let us know which will sell out first, because I have it in red and I have it in black. So whatever's more limited, give us a shout. The red yeah. is gonna sell out first. All right, John, keep Look going. Look at this. We just, we just pulled this out of the oven, okay? okay? It's still blazing hot, but I want you to see this, because the lemon chicken, Amazing. Yeah. Now, this is one of the recipes that's in the book that you get with it. It comes with 15 recipes. Everything that we're doing here yeah. comes out of the book. We're going to do a quick uh, sticky shrimp real quick, okay? I'm gonna, I've am i got a this steaming no oil. pan here. No oil. I'm just going to pour the shrimp in. And this is a honey glaze, okay? It's honey and uh, soy glaze with a little bit of... Uh, it's like jar ginger, ginger and garlic. Yeah. yeah. Ginger and garlic. And we're going to pour that in. I'm going to put this, the, the uh, lid on top. Oh and I'll tell you gosh. what. That's going to be done in no time. Remember those eggs we put in yeah, earlier? Yeah. Wait, let's get to, Hold on, John. Let's get to it first. Again. Don't wait till we get to it. I'm <laughs> no, using I'm metal utensils. I know I get so excited. <laughs> I, look, right. metal utensils. I don't have to. Look, this will literally. Oh, my gosh. Okay, two eggs <laughs> floating around in that pan. That was wow. with no oil, no <laughs> butter, no nothing. Just plop two eggs in there. Here, you want to flip them? Look at that. Oh I mean, that's how easy it is to do your cooking in the one All pot. Right. 400 left. All right, we're gonna we're gonna. I, now I'm, I got uh, 90 people shopping, and it says I have 430 left. So we probably have hard quantity about 350. We may we may stretch this a minute or two uh, until sell out. But I will tell you, oh. and, and as I said before. I don't own everything at HSN, okay? I, I own a handful of things that I can get, um, that I can afford, and I, and I bought this. And because you all know I'm a big cook guy, right? You guys all know I love to cook, right? So I appreciate, and I used to buy cookware for my restaurant. I was the one that went to this place called Globe Equipment in Connecticut, and I would buy the restaurant stuff. This stuff is gonna last you for years and years and years. It's a little bit of an investment of $39, but uh, the original price was 49, so you're getting $10 off. We now have 300 with people online. We have now, 
Chris, my, my producer Chris is like, guy, they got to order. Uh, <laughs> only a handful of red if you Look want Look at it. this. What'd you make there, bro? We just did a shepherd's pie in the That's oven. That's got to be enough for now, 20 this, people. <laughs> it's easy. What? There, there's like four Look pounds of, way, of hamburger in here, okay? Wow. And I want to cut into this to show you. Again, good in the oven to 450 degrees. I'm going to scoop some of this out, and I'll tell you what. If you like shepherd's pie, you're going to love this. There, again, four pounds of hamburger, and I'm, I'm just scooping it out to show you. Dude, and, I love and it metal Who utensils. Who made that shepherd's Again, pie? <laughs> that was Kat that did that. Wow. Uh, here, uh, here, you want to try that? Dude, I, 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 I love gotta, shepherd's I, pie. I am such a huge but fan while of shepherd's while pie. But while you're doing that, let me find a knife, all right? Because this is what I love Cat about this. Made it up you can bake it. in the one pot. You can, you, you know, stove top cooking. You can do just about anything you would do in any potter pan, and you never have to worry Dude, about it scratching. Money. We did a brownie. We did a, 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 in, a, in the one pot. Yeah, like a brownie cake. A, three inches deep, okay? So it's super deep. It's like, a, it's a Dutch oven. Now I'm gonna take a knife, I'm gonna cut our brownie right, right in. Into the, look right, at that, he I'm doesn't I'm gonna care. cut the brownies. I don't care, because I know it's not gonna scratch. It comes with a 10 year guarantee, never to crack, chip, or peel. And I'll tell you, this, you ever try and cut a three inch deep brownie? <laughs> but watch this, because I'm using a knife. <laughs> <laughs> to cut through this, Look at it, watch and it just, just to show right you, out. first of all, I, it's nonstick. Okay, I'm just going to do this real quick, but I want you to see the bottom of this pan. I'm going to flip this over, all right. and all those browning pieces that I just cut, you Holy. can see, it's done perfectly, Holy. right? Okay, but. Look at the bottom of the pan. There's not a scratch. I ran the knife across you that. You can even okay? wipe that out of A watch. razor sharp knife. You don't have to worry about it cracking, chipping, peeling. Ten year warranty. Oh my God. <laughs> all right. All right. So I know it's just 20 seconds left. Over. My producer Chris says we might go an extra minute on this because we're gonna. We, we think it's gonna sell out. It says 290 whatever left on on the counter. I have almost 200 people shopping. Oh so well. Here, <clears throat> here's what I ask you. Try it. Get it home and try it for 30 days. If you don't agree with what we're saying you can send it back. That's part of our easy returns. And we talk about that with HSN uh, for our new customers. You're going to get a return label built in. If you don't like it, just pass, slap it on a box and send it back. It's all you need to do. Look what you just did there, John. <laughs> I know. We did dinner rolls inside the one pot. <sighs> Again, this is... I got a little of that shrimp. I got a little of that shrimp on my Oh, yeah. Nose. We got to take that out. I'll tell you what. Here, take I'll, a look I'll, at I'll this. keep an eye on that. You do that. Again, metal utensil safe. You never have to worry about scratching, chipping, or peeling. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I this. love this thing. You look at those shrimp. It's look at those shrimp. It's the most Holy versatile mackerel. pan or pot that you will ever you go, use John. in your kitchen. There you go, buddy. Oh, you got it. I thanks, got you John. hooked up, bro. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, There's our, our sticky shrimp. Oh, my That's gosh. It. By the way, the recipes, everything yum, that we've yum, done yum. here is in the cookbook that you get with the one pot. All right, so it says 244 left, but I actually have 160 people online. So if you want to get this, how are we doing in color? my friend Chris we have 70 left in red and black about a hundred left so that's with and then again those are all these people online John you have to reveal yep we're gonna so, do that so right now the beginning of the show to show you how great this is to cook in we put pasta yep we put a uh, spinach we put tomato we made a whole wop one pot meal <laughs> we didn't even cook the pasta right inside no, here and yeah. here it's probably, about, pasta, it's probably right about, pot. it's probably about halfway done but yep. take a look Take a look at this. Watch, watch, watch. I'm gonna stir this up. Here's your pasta dinner. The pasta is done, okay? Yeah, it's pretty close. All of the veggies. Well, if you like it al dente, there's your al dente yeah. pasta. Look all at right? this. But everything is all done in one pot on your stove top. Here, let me give you more cheese. You like a little more cheese? Yeah, hold there. on. There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a little more. Just a little more. Yeah, like you can't put enough cheese. Here, for God's sake, put the whole thing on there. We're getting might try to say here, here's some parsley I feel, oh, I feel my Make arteries some, clogging as we some speak parsley. <laughs> all right uh, just a few more seconds on this until sell out uh, it's only 39.95 I didn't even mention the fact that it's only 8.99 honestly if you are sick and tired of having to clean out your pans if you're tired of replacing your pans yes, every six months I know you need to give this a shot and you will absolutely love it all right if you're online stay there uh, by the way it's almost perfectly rated I didn't even say it 20 this is 25 out of 28 five-star reviews for yeah. this pan. What Use it once, for? you'll see what everybody raves about. Right. Yeah. Now, coming up in a little bit, and I love this. This thing is, I know it looks like a clam, but it's actually a sponge. It's a sponge that cleans your knives. You put the knife inside, you squeeze the little clam together, and it cleans those super sharp knives, everybody, so it's fantastic. It's only $20, uh, and, and it's on FlexPay. It's only $4.99, so take advantage of that. Uh, 
And let's go right. Oh, John, John, we're not going anywhere. What's next? Oh, yeah. John, don't take the apron no, off. No, I'm back. I'm here. I'm with you. I'm Come just adjusting. <laughs> I'm adjusting. All right. So if you need to prep your food I'm going and you want to be fancy and you want to make it look <laughs> consistent, well, John, uh, uh, John has become famous for his mandolin demonstrations. <sighs> Uh, but the mandolin is basically, uh, it's a French word for something that slices. Yep. Um, and essentially it was created in France. It's, it's, and basically like with a regular knife, you take the knife and you bring it to the food. With this, you bring the food to the knife, which gives you much more consistency. Yep. It's uh, even slices every time, but this does a whole bunch of things. It's on price break for $29.95. John, what do you love about this, baby? Well, I love it because it gives you uniform slices. Everybody knows when you cook, if you want it to cook evenly, it has to be sliced evenly. And with a knife, you get one thick slice, then one thin slice. With the mandolin, now you get uniform slices each and every time. And here's probably the hardest thing you'll ever have to slice in the kitchen. By the way, guy, look, look at this. It's got a handle on one end. Rubber feet on the bottom. You can put it on your countertop, tabletop, or you can do this, or it fits over any size bowl. So you can slice, dice, and chop right into a salad bowl if you like. But the slices all come out perfect and uniform for salads, sandwiches. Now, if you like the slice, watch the difference. There's a knob on either side of the machine. So, if you don't like the thick slice, maybe you like it thin, there's eight different slicing thicknesses. You can hear it click as you turn that knob. Every time you turn that knob, it gets thinner or thicker, depending on how you like it. So, it's a versatile tool. Now, for onions, how about this? You can saute peppers and onions, steak and onion, liver and onion, potatoes and onion. For thin sliced onions, for heroes and hamburgers, you can't beat this machine. If you're into pickling, you're gonna love it. Because, and, I got, and you know, here's why, Every professional wow. chef in the world <laughs> has a mandolin in their kitchen yeah. tool arsenal somewhere because you get perfect thin slices like this. How about pickling? My grandmother, she was pickled all the time. Uh, pickling all there the time. There you go. Back in the day, we Mine used to pickle. Do you have cucumbers? I'll tell you. <laughs> look at this. You can't lose with wow. the chips I use. I have, if you got a hot poker game. I mean, look at those pa paper thin slices. Any thinner than that look guy, it, it, they'd it, only it. have one side. Wow. But those are perfect for bread and butter pickles or for a cucumber and onion yeah. salad. Oh, I love you that. You can nickel down carrots for canning. You can slice beets for pickling. Oh, and by the way, here's what made mandolins famous, or actually what mandolins were originally developed developed to do over a hundred years ago in Germany, they were originally made as a cabbage board for making sauerkraut. Yeah. You take a, ca a head of cabbage, cut it in half, or if look it's it, a large it, head, you can it. quarter it down. Look at how perfect, John. But all you do is brush it against that blade. Wow. Iceberg lettuce on taco night, you can get your shredded lettuce for tacos, burritos, enchiladas, tostadas, and I'll tell you what, any finer than that guy, look at that. That comes out more like <laughs> shredded wheat. Take you 30 seconds. <laughs> shredded cabbage. You know, people are right? buying it in bags like that and they're wasting their money. I know. Right? Why buy it already shredded up for you? Crazy. It's, cheap. it's like $1.39 a pound this I way, know. Know. and it's 39 cents a pound this way. Yeah. So it costs less to eat fresh. Now, watch the difference because there's also another knob. See, I'm, I'm adjusting the knobs on the side by turning it just like this. I'm going to take it down to the thickest slice, and then watch what happens. See these teeth that pop up? Now, with the, you have large teeth. You have really tiny teeth, and then you've got medium teeth for, di for, for mincing. And I'll tell you, just for onions alone, if this is the only thing you'll ever use this for, I think it's worth it, just awesome. for the chopped onion. You're not even you looking. Chop onions for tuna <laughs> fish or chicken salads, that. for meatloaf on, ta wow. hey, on taco night, you'll yeah. love it. And oh, here, if you want to save time in the kitchen, try celery on a mandolin. It yeah. goes through it like like a the lawnmower went yeah. wild in a cabbage patch. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> all right, look, all you do is brush it through. Wow. You can do one stock at a time, or you can use the whole bunch. But for stuffing, soups, and stews, guy, there's 26 different ways just that. to cut celery with this machine. Look Did you know that? that? Yeah, you know look. what? And, and you know, I like to make soups, but prepping the vegetables, hardest part, yeah. John, right? Oh, yeah. And the different angles that you can run the vegetables through will give you different types, styles of cut. So if you want to, if you, maybe you're into stir fries or have a walk at home, yeah. now you can make your celery spears, bok choy Ooh. spears, and, and throw them right, right in or for your- veggie dips too, For veggie right? dips, yeah. yeah. Now if you want bigger ones, you use the bigger teeth. But this is what I like it for. And why, the, if you have kids, they're gonna love this too. Because just for french fries, I mean, 
You don't have to use a mandolin for everything that we're showing you here, but if you just use it for the one or two things that you're gonna use it for, at mo for you know, mostly at home, yeah. it's worth it. How many times, oh my I mean, what? <laughs> French fries like, by the hey, mouth. those are the famous fries, but these ones, ours have the skin on, which makes it yeah, even right. better. I know. You can do this at home. Hey, John, let me show everybody really quick yes, the colors yes, and then we'll yes, come yes. back to you. All right, oh, really quick update first. Our pan sold out. Congratulations. Hey, keep your eyes open. I may do that one as a host pick yeah. coming up in uh, in October because I love that item. So if you got shut out, I'm sure we'll bring it back for you. So anyway, I want to show you the colors of this. And by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but the, 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 the handle that plugs in, it's a safety handle, yes. right? And there's little pins inside. And what this does is if, I, if this is a piece of fruit or an onion, it sticks on there. And now he keeps your fingers protected as you're going across the blade. But it's also... Ooh, a citrus juicer, right? So you can do your lemons, limes, and oranges right on the top, and you can juice uh, citrus. So comes in orange, comes in green, purple, black, blue, and of course, red. So those are your, your color choices today. It's only $29.95. You know, John, most people are not really, really skilled with a knife. I mean, I right. I learned culinary, and I, I, you know, school of hard knocks. I was in the restaurant business for 20 <laughs> right. years. You learn how to use a knife. Yep. Most people don't know how to use one. Well, so. and, and even if you do know how to use a knife, yeah. The time that you save with a mandolin, that's what pays well, for it. Well, and tell everybody you know? the story of why because, this always stays sharp. Well, the reason it stays sharp is because a lot of people ask, how long will that blade stay sharp? Well, first yeah. of all, it's a razor sharp German stainless steel blade. And all that blade ever touches are vegetables, fruit, meat, and cheese. So it's not like a knife that hits your countertop or cutting board there you or go. your plates or dishes, okay? Right. After a while, your knives get so dull, I mean, you couldn't, you <laughs> can hardly cut no, yourself don't do that with it. But, I mean, that blade stays <laughs> razor right. sharp. Now, the difference though, again, it's such a, an adjustable machine. It's such a versatile tool that you can literally do just about anything in the kitchen. And including, here, have you ever done this before? Maybe you've got yeah. kids with braces, okay, or a grandfather with teeth like the stars. Yeah. You know, they come out at night. <laughs> if you've ever tried to get corn off the cob with a knife and it flies up into your eyebrows and on the hair, in your hair, or if you have oh, any, and on it, the ceiling. Yeah, it jumps. And look at this. All you do is lay the ear of corn down and brush it through. Oh, my Okay? Goodness. Now, I'm doing this on the thick slice. Yeah. It takes four or five rows of sweet corn off the cob each time you run it through there for creaming or steaming, for boiled or buttered corn, Ooh, look at that. for relishes, for chowders, yeah. and then there's ridges on either side of the machine, so you can even milk your cob for your cream style corn, for your yeah. succotash, for soups, stews, and chowders. That way you get all the goodness <laughs> off the cob. You, you don't, don't waste, waste anything. anything. No, look, I, look you get the worms and all, guy. Uh, yeah, I love that. It's all good protein. Well, if you're vegetarian, right, I want you to see what John has done, and John has taken his time with this. He, honestly, John, if he really wanted to go fast, he could fill this entire board. Uh, I had a staff at one of my restaurants, all they did was prep vegetables all morning. Yeah. To them hours and hours to do it. You can do it very easily using a mandolin slicer. Hey, listen, I, you can go and spend $200 on a, on a stainless steel mandolin slicer uh, online. Why do that when the most important part is the blade? And that's what you have, the stainless steel blades with the lightweight portability of being able to utilize this machine anywhere. By the way, it even has a way to be able to do your slicing right over a bowl. Yep. Uh, because there's a, little, there's a little ridge on the bottom of that of that machine that will sit right on a bowl. So if and you want to chop, about you want to do it like vertical. Yeah, it goes you know? right into any slice right. salad bowl. What I love about it, though, is this safety holder. I mean, it, using use this it, machine use or any mandolin without yeah. one of these is like driving a car without brakes. Yeah, okay? it's crazy. Because the blade's razor sharp, and, that, and that's why it works so well. But that's also why we give you the safety holder. So, you know, when, when you're far away from your hand and you've got a long vegetable, you can use your hand. But when you get close to your, your fingers, I mean, use that safety holder. You don't oh cut gosh. yourself, and you don't waste anything because it's designed to take Look it right it. down to the it, end. You know, if you're making yeah. scallop potatoes, potatoes are and gratin, you're trying to do it with a knife. Homemade potato <laughs> chips. <laughs> Look, right? at, Look at how skinny. Hey, you throw These those are. on a cookie sheet in oh, the oven, junk. sprinkle some Parmesan cheese Chips. or barbecue salt over the top. Look They're delicious, that. baked instead of deep fried. And you season them how you like. Yeah. And, and I, that's the thing, it's such a versatile tool. And I gotta show you this too, because I showed you the cabbage coleslaw earlier. I know I kind of sliced my way into a corner here. Because you do, you go through, yeah, I mean, it, it's so fast yeah. that you get the job done quick. So if you want a, your cabbage coleslaw long and stringy like this, you can do that. But if you'd rather have your cabbage deli style. Oh, yeah, you know, I like you know, it. Like really, you get I like it finely chopped. Yep, okay. Yep. So this way is one way. Or all you have to do is adjust the machine. I'm going to pop those medium-sized teeth up watch. and watch this because now you can chop your cabbage yeah. deli style. 
So, you know, and of course, any, anything that grows in layers, like cabbage, celery, onions, you get that perfect, perfect mince each and every time. Wow. And I always say, Guy, if the only thing you will ever use your mandolin for is chopping onions, uh, it, it's worth it for like three bucks a finger, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what yeah, I say. Really I mean, I'm looking at the price. If you've ever slipped on one of these old four-sided tin can things because yeah. they don't, you know, there's nothing to protect your fingers. Right. Or if you've ever dropped an onion into a food processor or mm -hmm. one of those choppers that you have to, you know, that, that it's like a lawnmower yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Look, all you do is brush it through that blade. It's the design of the machine which is designed by which way the vegetables grow because we all know the veggies grow in layers right like right. onions grow in yeah, rings onions, so yeah. if you separate those rings that's why you see a chef playing tic-tac-toe like this on a knife and then take a slice well now look at this I mean again if you want bigger pieces just go to the larger teeth and watch the difference there are so many combinations for soups John, and right? stews oh for stir God. fries okay. I mean you get the job done quick that way so no you matter, get bigger pieces no what job you're doing whether you're doing uh, vegetables to saute right or you want finely minced because you're doing it in soups and things like that it gives you the control to do that it does. And I will tell you that we have a lot of wonderful chefs here there's not a chef that we have here that can that can replicate the consistency no. of using a mandolin which yeah. is why <laughs> many of those chefs probably every one of them uses a mandolin when they're yep. when they're prepping food first of all it's it's very very fast it's very very consistent uh, it's a lot safer when you use a little top it's a lot safer but you're never going to be able to replicate like we said a uh, perfection unless you use a machine like this and, right. and i love look at all the stuff that we've done i mean you're <laughs> almost ready to dump we're gonna need a wheelbarrow to get rid of oh, some of no, this stuff hey, <laughs> but uh but even if you you know if you want to make you want to do you know apples three, throw your yeah. dehydrator oranges tray. kiwi yeah. fruits lemon lime tangerine all you do is brush it through there. It does the work for you. You never have to worry about cutting yourself because you've got that safety holder. But for fruits, veggies, meats, and cheeses, this machine does everything but the cooking. And I mean, again, oh, by the way, I almost forgot to tell you, this is a citrus juicer yeah. as well, okay? In fact, here, I've got a half an orange on this I one. I told them a little okay. bit, but yeah, we haven't shown look at them this. yet. All you do is cut an orange, lemon, or lime in half you, and place it over the top push down and squeeze, and look at that, it even has a pour spout, so you can take this right over to your orange juice glass, pour it in, you've got fresh orange juice Sweet. first thing in the morning. Nice little double, do <laughs> double duty know. right there. So you can use this all the time, but it is the safety holder for the mandolin. All right, so let me tell you again, and that comes along with it, that's actually the holder, as John just said. So you're gonna have a choice. The one John's using is red, which we have in the back. It comes in blue, comes in black, comes in purple, comes in green. I love the green and the orange color. It comes in those two. It doesn't matter what color you get. They all work the same. And remember, it's completely adjustable. Yeah. How you adjust it, there's two, two knobs on here, okay? There's one on one side, one on the other, and that's how you adjust the thickness. That basically raises or lowers the blade, so you can see how, how, th how thick that yeah. is. And then you have your other which essentially just gives you your cross-cut blades and you have three different settings for those. So if you want things to be finely chopped, then you use these crisscross blades. If you just want things sliced, then you essentially just crank these back and they disappear and then you just adjust the blade going up or down and that's the flat position right there how you want to store it. So yeah. honestly, you can't go wrong with this. If you're one of those people that doesn't know how to chop things, well, in one easy lesson, you can be really yeah. good at it, <laughs> right? Right. But I, again, it does just about everything but the cooking. But what I love about it more than anything is that uniformity. Everything comes out perfect and uniform. And it's again, it's an adjustable tool. So if you want uh, thick slices, you can do thick slices. If you want to do thin slices, you can do thin. And there's eight different settings that go anywhere from anywhere in between. So here's your thick. All I have to do is turn the knob on the side. Turn I'm gonna take this up. I'm, I took it up three notches. There's yeah. a medium. Here, I'm gonna take it up two more notches. I'm gonna Real go thin. thin. And then here, I'm gonna go super thin. I mean, not super, super thin. Look at this. Shaved almost. Yeah, yeah that's what I like. And again, there's no way. Even the, uh, yeah. the most that on a sub <laughs> expensive sandwich. knife, okay, <sighs> by the most profound chef in the world could not slice that safe that Shaved fast or that thin. Shave peppers. <laughs> I mean. All right, listen, everybody. Um, I know John's got to run over because he's going to get us started. Uh, by the way, if you do own, uh, and you obviously all have knives and you want to yep. get a great way to clean them, we're going to show you how to do that in just a bit. But let me remind you again of your colors. So it comes in orange, purple, red, green, blue, and black. $29.95, which is our uh, price break today. And it's on FlexPay, only $7.49. So just
just let us know which one you would like to get. And honestly, it's going to make your job so much easier with uh, when slicing. Now, if you want to take your slicing to another level, make sure you hang out for our today's special because Mark Gill will be coming up in just a bit. And he's going to show you how you can spiralize all your favorite foods. And I got to tell you, that's the latest thing happening thing that's going on right now. Everybody absolutely loves, loves, loves it. All right. So, uh, you know what I love about, about this show especially is we're giving you lots of really clever ways to do things that maybe traditionally you did one way yep. and now you have a new way to do them whether it's slicing your food mark's going to show you how to spiralize in just a bit with our today's special but this is the most simple brilliant idea really i've is. ever seen <laughs> it's like a little it's it's this I call is why, it, it's, why didn't i think they should have called it the clam sponge yeah. <laughs> yeah. because that's essentially what it is it's called scrub and this my friends is a knife cleaner yeah do you ever do you have sponges right now yeah, in your I kitchen sink that look I like this i have one except it's right? brown yeah right. or your kitchen towels you know this is the best part about this okay on the back side it has a slot for your fingers, okay? And again, like Guy said, it's like a clamshell. It closes over any knife. So what you'll do is get it wet in your kitchen sink, okay? And I've got my little sink right here. You can add the dish soap right to the sponge. A little bit goes a long way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and again, look, watch how easy this <laughs> so is to great. use. Because now for cleaning your knives, okay? A razor sharp knife like this, you would have to be super careful with a regular sponge. But look, I can put that right in here, close it, and clean it. Oh so now gosh. it scrubs. So next time you're uh, in, in the sink doing dishes and your knife, you know, you, it doesn't matter what size either, yeah. okay? It could be a steak knife. And again, all you do is place it in between, you close it up, so you pull the knife through, it cleans both sides at the same time. You never have to worry about cutting this yourself. You never have to cut and worry about cutting a sponge again. And it does the job perfectly each and every time. And by the way, I mean, it, just it, it, works, it works on flatware too, if you want to do it and, on five forks and yeah, spoons. Yes, it, it works absolutely, on there too. Yeah. And, um, and, but I like it for the knives oh, because the, everybody has a hard time cleaning knives. And listen, I'm a fisherman. You like to fish yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. If you have a sportsman in your life, get them one of these for their tackle box. Yeah. Because just for this alone, I mean, when you're out in the field, or maybe, a a, a, yep, too, and all you do is draw it through, it doesn't matter whether you do the back of the knife in here, or if the front of the knife happens to hit it, you're not going to cut protected. yourself. You're protected all the time. Yeah. All right, so, when, uh, when you order today, uh, let me show you what you're going to get. So you get the uh, scrub knife cleaner, and yes. you get the uh, the scrub knife holder. You have your choice of yellow, it comes in blue, and it comes in green, and you get the pads. Everything that you see here is included. Um, so you get the two pads plus the two pads that are built in. You're gonna absolutely uh, love this. I'm not sure, what, what what are these little things? Well, here? let me show you what this what is, because I mean, I it, it all it comes complete. <laughs> it, it even comes with, and I have one mounted right here, what? okay? Your little, uh, your little uh, knife scrubber. Oh, rack. yeah, that's okay? awesome. You can put this on any smooth surface. It's got a knob on it just like this. All you do is turn it lefty-loosey, righty-tighty, right. okay? It pops off. You put this on the inside it's if you a have a stainless steel stink, a sink, yeah. or you can put it on the inside of a cabinet door. It's a suction cup that you place on any smooth surface, and all you do is to hold it there, turn that handle, and it create. the harder you turn the handle, the more suction it creates, and now you've got a storage place for your uh, for your knife cleaner. It is brilliant. And for your scrubbing sponge. Well, listen, you know... And, and that comes with the scrubber today. I, I can't tell you how many times that I've nicked myself or I've seen somebody do that when they're washing dishes. Yeah. And, 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 you know, normally it's... Wow. Well, well, here's the deal. We we always... We tell people, hand wash your knives. Yes. Don't put them in the dishwasher. Yeah. Most of them are not safe to put in the dishwasher. A lot of them have Bakelite handles or they're riveted and it's not good for well, them. Well, you know why I don't but put them in the dishwasher? Yeah, because you reach your hand in there, you're going to cut your fingers off. No, well, there's that. But <laughs> when you place one of your good kitchen knives, whether yeah. it be a chef chef's knife, steak knife, whatever, in the dishwasher. That steak knife, or, or chef's sure. knife, bangs around. It gets nicks and, and touches the dishes and yeah. plates. And what were we talking about earlier? What's the worst right, thing for your knives? Right. Hitting countertops, cutting boards, plates, and dishes. So don't put them in your dishwasher. Wash them by hand. Hey, if you have uh, scissors, that have all that gunked up tape from when you're wrapping yeah, your packages yeah. or opening boxes, okay? This is perfect for cleaning your scissors because again, your fingers, your hands never get close to those sharp edges. You open it up, you pull it across, and it pulls that tape off of your scissors. You dry it off, rinse it off, dry it off. You got a brand new set of scissors that's not gonna stick this is, this when you is, close This them. is one of those items that if, if you're at your house and you're washing dishes and you pull that off to wash knives, everybody yep. goes, 
you are the smartest person on the planet. <laughs> yeah. How did you, what did you well, make how that many yourself? people have cut it's themselves, so, right? I know they do. And everybody does it sooner you or later. Be real careful. But with a tool like this, you never have with, to worry about cutting yourself. You don't again. have to, right? You just take, you, you take your time, obviously, everything, but it makes it real, real simple. All right. Hey, John, good job today. Really love it. Hey, thanks, thanks for all the great products you brought in. Uh, it's $19.95 if you'd like to pick this up. 584916. So we're talking about having fun with your food, having great products to take care of your food. Yep. Wait till you see our today's special. But I want to remind you before we get there, we've got our, our, our Cuisinart knives available. And you saw us, we were washing some of this. It's a 12 piece set. 12 knives. What? Or 12, they're not 12 knives. I hate when they do that in the top line. It's actually six knives with the covers. Um, but you get six knives for $19.95. That's just crazy. Six knives and the covers. $19.95. Birthday blowout. All right. You ready to be amazed? You ready to be absolutely blown away? What do you see our today special coming your way next? Oh my gosh, it's hard not to smile when you watch this machine work. This is going to kick your food up so many notches. It's ridiculous. It is amazing. We are making food fun here you. at HSN. We have an exclusive exclusive configuration with the blades that we're going to be giving you today. I'll give you two exclusive blades right here at HSN. Uh, it makes life so easy. It's a true six in one. It does it all. Thin or thick spirals. It'll do ripples. It'll do ribbons. It'll do fruits and veggies and chips and more. All with beautiful results and easy cleanup. And you know, vegetables are so healthy, but we get mm -hmm. bored of them, oh, right? Oh boy. The same way, prepared the same way every single day. <laughs> and I'm talking about carrots and zucchini and cucumbers and squash and potatoes, all those things that you love, but if they're just chopped every day, it's like, ugh, okay. Or if you bake a potato, yeah, it's good with a steak, but I don't want it every day. When you see the number of things you can do with a spiralizer, you will be blown away. My very good friend, Mark Gill is here. How are you, my good friend? to see you, pal. You too, brother. You always, I gotta <laughs> tell you, you always make cooking so much fun. That's what and it you is. And I live and breathe the kitchen. We love exactly. it. We think that it's it's the center of, of having fun. It's the center of family. Right. The center of entertaining. When you have this tool, you kick it up. And, and Mark, it's yep. twenty nine. Uh, it's it's what? unbelievable. Six blades. Come on, guys. Come on. Here's the thing. Listen, spiralizing is all the rage, and it should be because it gets guys like me who don't yeah. eat vegetables I to know. eat vegetables. Yeah. Helps out a lot. The problem is when you use those, either your hands too close to the blade. That's kind of crazy. Or you've got to sit there and spin. I didn't claw my way to the top of the food chain so I could pick vegetables up off the counter. Guys, watch what we've done for you with our spaghetti. First of all, we're gonna give you a catch container. No more food on the counter. Right. I've always found that kind of weird. You're gonna get your power head here with 20% more power than any spiralizer power we've ever offered. And if you have a look here, see that little white gear? This is based on a gear system, almost like a transmission. I'm gonna set that on top and I'm gonna set our gear inside. Now, I'm going through this for you, but listen, when, when you can start using this, this is about nine seconds worth of time. Yeah, it's easy. Now, I'm gonna pick my blade and we're gonna start with a thin blade because I want to show you what everybody buys these for, okay? Now go ahead. The blade only uh, fits in one way. There's no way yeah. to mess that up. But I want you to see something. This machine won't turn on. Nothing wrong with it. I just don't want your hand near the blade. It doesn't turn on oh, until good. this is attached. The lid. Now it's going to turn on. My Smart. fingers don't come anywhere near well, it. Well, because that's sharp inside Exactly. There. Yeah. And even if I go and pop this off, it also stops. There's two built-in safety systems. So let's have some fun here, okay? Watch what I'm going to do. The plunger has four little spikes on the end. All you're going to do is take your favorite fruit or vegetable, cut the end off, and just pop it right in, just oh, like that. Man. Now set it inside and watch. Just like that, <laughs> you are going to take one of the most boring vegetables on the planet that you don't know what to do with, but you know is so good for you and you're going to use that to actually start to feel better because you're adding some of this great food into your diet and i'll tell you my father-in-law he's the best man he's my inspiration for demos yeah right because he comes home one day and he's mad at his doctor because his doctor said he can't eat pasta anymore right so i said to him i said look i'm not your doctor i'm going to show you something kind of cool watch this you guys one zucchini Oh now listen, you can use this to create an incredible meal, but if you're a pasta lover and you've looked at this and gone, you know, I know it's not the best for me, I know this is a good idea, but I just can't pull that trigger, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go ahead in your favorite pasta dish, and look at this, this is beautiful. Pasta, shrimp, cilantro, the whole right, nine right, yards. Right, right. And you're simply gonna take out about half the pasta. Now here's the deal, you guys. 
A serving of pasta can contain up to 800 calories and 185 grams of carbs. No right. wonder your doctor doesn't like right. it. Yeah. So all you're gonna do now is simply replace it with the spaghetti noodles. And here's the beautiful part, you guys. As compared to the 800 calories and all the cholesterol, how about 60 calories and eight grams of carbs in the same amount of this. noodles that you make with a vegetable? So I'm gonna grab yeah. a bowl here. And guys, you can see there is no difference other than you yeah. don't have the extra calories, the cholesterol, and oh these noodles God. are about three well, miles long. Not to, not to mention that zucchini is delicious. Exactly. It really is delicious. It picks up all the you taste, know, you all know the flavor. I, I actually, my favorite is yellow squash. Which oh, you we're going to do, do some of that for with. sure. Because yellow squash has an amazing flavor with a little bit of butter and mm -hmm. salt. You can, and cheese, you can do the same thing, and you really are killing the carbs right there. Exactly. Um, and you can flavor it up with, like Mark's doing, just a little fresh herbs and some lemon, and, right. and you put some... A couple more shrimp. Yeah, there just, it is. Yeah, there's Mark's. Uh, with this. <laughs> Gotta do uh, that, right? All right, so let me tell you already, thousands of people have picked this up. This is only $29. That's and amazing. So, right? honestly, if you, if you want to mix it up a little bit for you and your family, and, and you know, Mark, mm -hmm. if you just replace, let me get my card sure, here. Yeah. If you just replaced four or five or six meals a week, don't have to do anything with, big and with the Vigetti uh, uh, spiralizer. Yep. You will be amazed at how the pounds will come off just because you. you're not storing. You know, carbo carbohydrates are, are turned right into fat when they're stored. So this is a way to be able well, to you utilize that. You and I have that. known each other a long time. Yes. It's a little bit less of Mark than there used to be. You are. <laughs> yeah, I know, buddy. And you and you have access to the worst types of foods, but oh it's hard boy, to Oh, boy, 24-7. I know, I know. to my door. <laughs> I know, buddy. I know. But, but I will say but this. You always maintain, and, and it's because you can't. You, well, you have to be creative with, with and that's your what vegetables. It is. And that's what it is. Listen, you guys, yeah. am I saying that the Vigetti is the only reason I've done a little bit better with the weight? Nope. Am I saying it helped? You better you believe sure it. Does, yeah. <laughs> so that was our thin blade. You saw Mark's our ultra show thin you, blade. Mark's, Mark's going to show you all yeah, the blades. Yeah, we'll show you so. what we got going here. You saw our ultra thin blade make that yeah. beautiful pasta dish. Look at our uh, ripple blade. Now, by the way, that ultra thin blade and ripple blade, those are exclusive to HSN. You're only going to find those here. Yeah. We just did our thin blade, and you can see the difference between the thin and the thick. We did the thick just a little bit earlier, right there. It's a yellow squash, my goodness. Isn't Look that something? This. And you know what? You made it look like fettuccine. Exactly. And look, that's the whole point of the thick what? one. What? Isn't that great? You, know, you, you sear some scallops and put a little light sauce you on top of that. don't know the difference. You, I'm telling you, you will absolutely right. love it. And you know what else is nice? What's that? No guilt, buddy. No guilt right? at all. Now, watch this, you guys. This is our slicing blade. <clears throat> now, this is what you're going to use on uh, potatoes and sweet potatoes and carrots. Now, you see what's happening here, right? It's creating a very cool spiral design. Now, this is what you're going to use for a very cool garnish around like roasts and chickens and things like that. Yeah. But here's what's kind of cool. So watch this, you guys. You can take this, just like this, and you can go ahead and wrap that around whatever type of food for dinner. Like you said, you eat with your eyes. You want to talk about a beautiful garnish. But how about this? All right? You want perfect slices out of a spiralizer? Bet you didn't know you could do it. Watch what I'm going to do. You're going to take that pile that you just cut into a very cool spiral with your spiral cutter. The machine even gives you a little pilot hole there. So watch this, you guys. We're going to take our knife and go down one half of it, and that's it. And you can see now I've got perfect slices all the way through. Look at that, you guys. Every one the same as the last. Beautiful. So for sweet potato casseroles and uh, potatoes yeah. of rotten, things like yeah. that, everything's perfect. And this is our <coughs> ribbon Large blade ribbons. with a little bit of daikon radish. Yeah. It's like sponge. You're getting all six <coughs> blades, guy. It is amazing, you know, and it's one of the things that people like to go to restaurants mm -hmm. for is because they see their food in a fancy way. You know, in the, uh, in the um, in, uh, you know, Asian countries, Asian food, they do so much to make their vegetables right. look good. And we eat totally. them in stir fries. We, we eat them it. everywhere. Absolutely. We love them. Heck, we even, you know, we even fry them in our tempura exactly and yeah and but it's vegetable and i mean you know th those you know you gotta realize protein is expensive yes and it always has been in the past which is why a lot of of other countries that, that we go to visit m use minimal protein in a lot of veg because exactly. it's more affordable it's seasonal mm -hmm. it's fresh they can harvest it it doesn't need to be farmed in the same traditional way that that you know beef and all that stuff. so this is a way to take advantage of that exactly. and get unique dishes every time now i'm going to teach you a little bit something about these blades okay because we want you to have me be safe with the machine. We already told right. you how it shuts off twice if, if, if you disengage those safety features. Yeah. Well, when you're handling the blades here, you guys, watch this. On the outside, no problem. Always grab the blades from the outside. Inside, different story. That's where the razor-sharp stainless steel blades live that are going to cut all your fruits, vegetables. But on the outside, 
just remember, pick the blades up from right there. And when it, goes to, it comes time to put it in the machine, it only goes in one way. It lays flush. So guys, this is my snack station here. Let's have a little fun, okay? Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop this on top. Okay. Now, one of the other things that we've done for you is we've actually put kind of an early warning system into our machine. At no point will this machine ever allow anything through it that shouldn't be put through it. So if it's off center, if it's too hard of a root vegetable, what'll happen is the gear will not allow it to go through. So just remember, when you're using your machine, if you've chosen something that's a little too hard or perhaps the it wrong blade, yeah. it'll let you know. I love that because what that does, Guy, is it saves your blades right. and it saves your motor. I wanna make sure this machine is around for you to use for years. Now watch this. How about, and I'm gonna grab some finished ones in the back. By the way, here's a pro tip. If you're making your own curly fries like we're about to here, take a second and soak these in water to get the starch off. If you've ever made potatoes at home and wondered why they don't turn out exactly soak like you think potatoes. they should, that's why. Have a yeah. look here, guys. Homemade curly fries. How much fun is that? That's the kind of good time you can have with the blades that, you've, uh, that you're getting with this machine. Remember, yeah. in the marketplace, if you buy it at the store, they come with four. If you buy it off the infomercial, they only come with three. We're giving you we two extras. We are giving you all six. Yeah. Love that. And remember, you know, if you're trying to eat healthy, Super you don't necessarily have to fry any of this stuff. Mm -hmm. You can always steam it. You can uh, always dehydrate it. In the it. Uh, those those uh, those uh, fries that we just did, or these, you can do these uh, dried, like we said, in the oven and baked in the oven exactly. with a little onion powder or a little seasoning salt. You're right. You can do that as well. So right now we're working on potatoes. A lot of people love. You know, they get really tired of the same old potato. That is why people stop eating healthy sometimes, is they're getting bored. So have a look here, guys. We just ran through another potato, only this time we used our spiral blade. Have you ever, like, wandered by some of these restaurants and they got those people standing outside trying to entice you with different meals that they're holding? Yep. Well, one of the ones that they always use, and no kidding, is a really special spiral fried dish. Now, there's a machine out there that does it, and it's actually an attachment for a drill. So think about the power that we've included in your Spaghetti Power Deluxe, and now you're doing those type of dishes that were only ever able to be done at the restaurant. The next time you have a party, next time you have the kids over, I'll tell you, oh my gosh. try serving something like this, and they're yeah. going, what's going on? Where's the bill? You got your baseball, <laughs> football parties. Hey, listen, I know a lot of you are saying, those are all great, Mark, but I need, I wish I had a cookbook to go along with all this Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. Well, we do. It's called, um, it's called Inspiralize Everything, and I am telling you, it's probably the best spiralizing book I've ever Absolutely. seen. It's got every possible thing that you would want to make with a spiralizer and, and uh, veggies and all kinds of great stuff. Mm -hmm. And it tells you step-by-step -step instructions of how you can utilize it. And of course, I'm missing all the pictures and just getting the text. There we go. But it gives you, it doesn't <laughs> like always happen. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> but you can see, you can make all kinds of great things. Uh, and it's a wonderful book. And it's got lots of great color uh, pictures inside and lots of uh, ways you can utilize stuff. So we have just scratched the surface on our today's <laughs> special. This is going to be $39.99 tonight at midnight it is $29.95 it is only $9.98 in flex pay you know what I love too Mark it doesn't take up a lot of space absolutely it's, not it's about half the size of a regular food processor exactly and you can use virtually any vegetables like Mark right. said the only ones you be careful of you know things that are so ridiculously hard that right. are even hard to cut with a knife right I wouldn't like I, I would probably not put butternut squash in there probably not. that is rock hard probably and that's not, not going to do you any bank good. with that stuff yeah that stuff's brutal <laughs> but most of your other semi uh, you know soft uh, veggies are going to work perfectly Perfectly. Exactly. So yep. here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use my thin blade, and we're going to leave the snack station and eat a little healthier for a second. Yeah, okay? buddy. Now, here's the other thing that kind of drives me nuts with spiralizers, the ones that are out there. A lot of them actually are just kind of the end of what this blade is, and you put the food in there and you start to twist. Guys, that's yeah. comically close to your fingers, all right? Those manual ones are fun, but by the time you're done with about half a potato, you're tired. Yeah. Okay? And then you've got and the crank, bored. guys, and they're I everywhere. Know. Guys, this is the easiest way to do this. I've got my thin blade in there. Remember, it only turns on if it's attached and put together properly. So what you're about to see here is the type of food that you're going to get from one cucumber. So when it comes time to make that salad that we know we should be having more of, it's not a burden anymore. It's not tough. You don't have to get out the lettuce, get out this, shave things with a knife, get that cutting board, smack, 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 dull your knife. All you're ever going to do is take that fruit or vegetable, pop it in the machine. It's the weight of your finger plus the weight of the food is all that's doing it. And now, instead of the time that it takes, 
weeks to go ahead and grab some of that trans fat filled frozen whatever that's in the fridge. I want you to watch this. One single wow. cucumber, and we all know how good that is for us. What a great salad. We're gonna add up a tiny little bit of feta on cheese there. on the end, some tomatoes just Ooh. like that. And in the time that it took you to microwave a bowl of soup full of sodium, fat, calories, carbs, a whole nine yards, look what we did. You mind if I put the rest of your little dehydrated onions on Please it? do. Oh, <laughs> I love it. crunch on love top. It, love it, love look it. Look at that salad and tell me mm -hmm. that if you went into a five-star restaurant and that came to your table and it was $11.95, you wouldn't say, yes, it's worth it. Right. That's a third of the price of this machine, guys, and that's one meal you can make. You can be so creative. You know, and realistically, the best chefs in the world, including our chefs here, whether it's Ming or it's Wolfgang or it's Curtis, whoever it is, they understand that you want to make your food look nice. You have to. Presentation <laughs> is everything, everything right? That's right. And this, in addition to the food you will eat, will make the food that you even design and, and use to border your plates beautiful, exactly. right? Exactly. Great garnishes, terrific meals, and Carrot's everything's pretty hard. Fast. Carrot is about as hard a root vegetable as you're going to get. And we're using our ribbon blade, which I love, because again, you eat with your eyes. Listen, you know how you're going to cut food with a knife. You know exactly how it's going to look. When you've got your friends, your party, your guests over, and you can hear that motor going to work. If the motor decided it didn't want to work any harder and we thought it was going to do yeah. damage, we've actually designed it so it stops. Look so have a look here, guys. We've there. got a little bit of daikon radish. We've got a little bit of carrots on the top. Let's go ahead and mix this right here. Look, and now we've got... Look at how beautiful this is. <laughs> Isn't nice. that great? Now oh, look at this, you guys. Man. Serve this next time instead of that bag of lettuce mandarin that you're opening up, a little bit of mandarin dude. oranges and a little bit of Asian dressing to pick up that what? great spiralized carrot. Are you kidding me with this, you guys? That. That's the kind of meal you can make in the same time that it takes to microwave that frozen dinner, right, and I right. love that. We are really busy right now, $29.95. This is an HSN exclusive. Remember, the two extra blades you get, you will only find here. You can't mm -hmm. find those anywhere else. So you get six blades total. Right. It allows you to really uh, elevate your food. And you know, that when we when we talk about the uh, cooking shows and all that stuff, if you look, you'll notice everything is elevated, right? Absolutely. Everything is prettier. Everything is done well. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that is done with a knife. What's nice about this is you, your hands really never have to touch Ever. a knife, other than to maybe top, chop the end off something. Exactly. And then you can have fun. Is that a banana? This is actually plantain. a plantain. Now, plantain. the plant, plantain's kind of risky, and you want to make it kind of cold, but we're just going to make a few chips uh, right there just like that. That's kind of all I wanted. Yeah. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out just like that. By the way, yeah, you want your plantains oh, a little sure. more firm, because no, obviously a banana perfect. that's ripe is just going to turn to wood. Exactly. So we're going <laughs> to put that behind the beets, because we're going to yeah. save that for just a second. Now I'm going to go ahead, and what we're using, Guy, is our slicing blade. And this is my favorite blade. This is so much fun. Remember, it only fits in one way. Right. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to start with, uh, let's start with some tear just like this. This is a very cool fruit. Watch what this blade does, okay? If you love sliced vegetables but don't want the knife near your hands, this is absolutely the blade for you. You'll see why in a second. And if you want to really experiment with some fun stuff, wait till you see what I'm going to do. So the first thing this is doing is slicing the chips, all right? Just like that. So look what we've got here, you guys. So you could bake or fry these. You're going to fry these. Now look at those. These pop in the fryer and are so beautiful when they come up. See that? Isn't that neat? These are root vegetable chips. If you've ever paid a fortune for one of these in the store, like that bag of taro or whatever yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. then you know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead, take the little bit of leftover out of there, just like that. And listen, when we're done here, I'm going to show you the neatest darn trick. So now we keep talking about hard root vegetables. Guys, this is a sweet potato. Doesn't get much harder than that. So remember, the machine's not going to come on unless you put the top on. We right. don't want your fingers near it. Now watch this. Watch what's going to happen. This is going to feed that sweet potato right through the spiral blade, just like that, and watch what happens. You see the little rings that come down? You can use those for garnishes, or you can use those for chips. So watch what I'm going to do here, guy, and I love this. I'm going to make that snack here, yeah. and I'm going to do one more, because I love this blade so much. So okay. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to take the plunger out, just like that, take off a little bit that's left. We got a little, we got a little hikama. A little hikama, just like that. Uh, hikama. You know what, guys? <laughs> Have your treats. Have your chips. If you want to cut down on the fat and calories in it, do them in the oven, but always do them yourself. You know what? We go to the fast food restaurants, and we order something like a french fry, and we think that's what we've got, french right. fry. Right, right. Some of those French fries, depending on the restaurant you're in, have up to 19 ingredients, guy. So right. have a look what we've done here, okay? Isn't this cool? I'm going to grab my knife, and I want you to okay. follow me to this board. Gotcha. If you want to make your own treats, your own chips, now, 
As it sits right here, these are a beautiful garnish, but watch what happens if I take the knife and I cut down one half of that circle. Now, they're perfect slices. Yeah, Can you see that? that? Yeah. I'm gonna do that one more time. Now, they're perfect slices. One more time with the beet. Now they're perfect slices. So now you can make those incredible chips that they charge a fortune for at the store. Just drop those in a fryer yeah. for about five to so seven good. minutes and you're done. Or There's you can one ingredient yeah. in that or, or yeah. dehydrate them. Exactly. All right, so uh, let me tell you again, we just have about five or six minutes left in our presentation. Be a good time uh, to sort of regroup. And why don't we go to the phones? Nice. And we're going to say hi to Pamela, who is in Texas. And Pamela bought three of the machines. So Love I'm it. eager to listen to Pamela. Pamela, see why she bought three. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Pamela. Pamela. Where's Pamela? She got all nervous. I'm here. Hey. There you are. Hi, Pamela. Why'd you buy three? Well, me and my husband love vegetables, and I've got one of those manual ones, and they're such a pain to use. Oh, yeah. Because you're cranking and cranking uh, and, and cranking. They're messy. So this is like a slam dunk for us, and I have two sons. One of them is on a big time diet. Uh, in the military, uh, part time, and uh, he needed to lose some weight, so uh, he's been eating tons of vegetables. I thought this would be a different a way for him to, uh, him and his wife to prepare them oh, and yeah. uh, uh, make it a little more fun for him. Well, let me he's show not you a vegetable guy at all. Yeah. And the other one just flat loves vegetables, so does his family. So I thought this would be fun for everybody. You know, we're, guys are so funny. If you if you make something a different shape, they'll eat it. <laughs> we'll eat it. They'll be, oh, that's cool. Isn't that crazy. <laughs> it's, I mean, look at this thing. I would eat this just because it looks like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I don't, I'd be like, what is that? I don't care. It's cool. I'm going to eat it. So anyway, <laughs> Pamela, you're so smart to do that, and you're thoughtful to get one for Love your family. It. Thank you for calling. Yeah. Enjoy it. Thank you so much. Bye, honey. Now, Guy, I, I want to show wear Pamela this too. and her son attractive. and his wife. That's great. Are you wear, wear your food. <laughs> wear your food. Anyway, go ahead, buddy. I'm well, sorry. I want to show them a very cool way. You know, it's great to hear stories like that because I'm I'm part of that story. You know what? If you just start to integrate and you start to change a few of your foods, replace yeah. a little pasta with the noodles, I'll tell you what. And here's a great way to take something to work for lunch instead of those noodles that you know you shouldn't be eating. Here's all you're going to do. Take your mason jar, a little bit of vegetables at the bottom. You pick whatever type of uh, uh, soup stock you like. Beef, chicken, yeah. my, whatever it is. It so watch what you're going to do. Soup, whatever. Right here, you saw us uh, uh, spiralize two zucchinis. That's all this is. So here's what you're going to do, guy. You're going to go ahead and you're just going to take those noodles that you spiralized and you're going to get them in that jar. Look at that. I'll Thank you so much, sir. Shove them in <laughs> you're there, You're going to get them right in there like that. And then? And then once you're done, you're going to go ahead and you're going to put that lid on. I'm not going to try and be neat and tidy here. Everybody gets it, right? So what you end up with, guys, is this. This is what you're taking to work instead of that fat-filled, sugar-filled, <clears throat> sodium-filled. So guys, watch this. Fill it oh with hot gosh. water at work. Yeah. And in the same two minutes that it takes to make that noodle dish that you know isn't very good for you, but it's fast and convenient, now you've got fresh soup, you made wow. with veggies that are so much better for you than the noodles. You don't notice the difference in the taste. Add a little bit of a sliced egg, and you are good to go, you guys. Oh my gosh. I would rather do that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Right? Than that noodle well, bowl. And let me tell you something right now. All right, I don't want to burst anybody's bubble. <laughs> and I'm sorry to say this, but if you like, you know, the ramen style noodles mm -hmm. in the package, read, read it. The package. Yep, or don't. There are <laughs> like 65 carbs in there. It is it is the worst part. You think you're eating healthy because it's noodles and stock? Right. It is the worst thing that you can eat if you're on a diet. It, really it turns is. into instant fat. I, I'm convinced that that is the that is the culprit in the freshman 15. I'll tell because you. Because you can't you can afford it because it's like 50 cents a bag. <laughs> exactly. But it is it is all carbs. Unfortunately, right. you think it's soup, it won't be. Have your soup with veggies instead. Well, and not only is this uh, <laughs> better for you, but you talk about 50 cents a serving or a buck a serving. This yeah. is actually cheaper. Oh my I mean, God, that's I what know. I love. I know. Let's try our thick blade. Well, we just saw our slicing blade. We've seen our thin blade there. So let's go ahead and try hour thick blade and guys this is what it's all about it's all about having that variety in food we're going to give you every single blade if you were to buy this at the store it's going to come with four blades if you were to buy this off the infomercial it comes with three and then there's a shipping and handling charge on top of the price to buy each blade on top of that we found every single blade that this machine has and we're making sure that you get it and that's very cool so that's our thick guy we're yeah. going to use our ultra thin ultra thin is like the uh, angel hair pasta oh and this gosh, is exclusive yeah. to us we're the only ones that have this blade normally they're ultra thin or thin is actually simply labeled thin now you mm. mentioned 
you yellow. love. Oh, I love yellow, yellow squash. squash. I think it's one of the best vegetables on the planet. Now watch it this. It has such a fresh flavor when you get it, and it really, it spiralizes very, very well. It really does. Oh it my It really gosh. does. Now remember, yeah. you guys, when you're using the ones that uh, operate by hand, your fingers are so close to that blade that by the time you're too close for comfort, you're wasting yeah. half the vegetable. All you got left is a little bit of a cone yeah. that you can chop up for a quick snack. That's sure. all we're looking at there. So here's our blade for our ultra thin. And this is cool. One small butternut squash yeah. Yeah. makes an entire serving of veggie pasta. Isn't that beautiful, and you, know you what, guys? You know what's lovely? I'm going to pull this out. I want to mm -hmm. show you something. Is that here, I want you to look at this serving. That's a substantial serving yes, right sir. there, right? Now, I thank you for that shot, guys. So all you do, a couple of cloves of garlic saute with a table, with a teaspoon of olive oil. Mm -hmm. You don't even need it if you have a nonstick pan. Right. And a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And you have made the most incredible faux Alfredo. Faux right. Fredo. In minutes. And you've done Absolute it. Yeah, minutes. and you don't feel like you're cheating yourself because you get that substantial toothy pasta feel. Exactly, right? exactly right. Now we're using our ribbon blade. This one's fun for veggie lasagnas. And if you're trying to get almost like a dip that, or a veggie that's gonna pick up a cool dip on a table, this is the way to go. This is our fifth blade, you guys. Remember, this part of it takes a while because you get six blades. Right. <laughs> Have a look here. There's your ribbon cut. How gorgeous and beautiful is that? And our last one, which is another exclusive, is our ripple cut. Guys, it's important that you see all the blades you're gonna get because so many of these only really come yeah. with one, right? right? And then a bunch that you never use. These are the type of blades for our research that customers love, love, love to use. Always put the plunger on the thick side of the cut fruit. So whether you're doing pasta, whether you're doing french fries, curly fries, right. whether you're doing some ribbon or some salads, makes no difference at all. This is absolutely the easiest way to make spiralized vegetables I've ever seen. And to Guy's point, we see it all. <laughs> I'm telling you, look at them all. All right, so if you want to see all the blades all together, here they are, and you get every single one, the, every the, one. the thick and thin spiral blades, the ribbon blades, the ripple blades, all that is included, the ultra thin, and the slicing blade are exactly. all included. And please remember about the Inspiralize Everything cookbook that we have available for you. This is a great deal. If you want to learn to do some of the things that Mark has been doing here and some of the great recipes, remember it's healthy eating, it's fun eating, it's good for you, there's no guilt. Uh, and, it, and you know what, for $29, Try it. I mean, it really can help. Uh, you know, you spend $29.